Hi, I'm Andrew. Today I would like to teach you how to find the molecular mass of sodium carbonate. It's a very simple process. You can follow a step-by-step -step pattern here by using this table. Take a look. Bam, so the first thing is to write the elements down that we see. So we got sodium, we got carbon, we got oxygen. Then the next step is to write down the number of atoms and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now if you don't see a subscript, put in a one. That's what it is assumed to be. So we got two sodium, one carbon, and three oxygen. Then we're simply going to multiply those number of atoms by the mass of each particular element, and those masses are found on the periodic table. Sodium's mass is 22.99, carbon is 12.01, and oxygen is going to be 16. So that's what we're going to write in, 22.99 for sodium, carbon is 12.01, and oxygen was 16. And then we're simply going to multiply these rows on a cross to find the total mass of that particular element in the compound. So sodium here would be 45.98 units of mass, carbon is going to be 12.01, and oxygen is going to be 48. And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, just simply add up all of these total masses of each element, all right? So it's gonna be 105.99. And the units here are AMU, atomic mass unit. That's because we're finding the molecular mass. So there is two, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for watching. If you can like and subscribe, it helps us out tremendously. Even better though, help us spread the word. Tell some of your classmates, take a look at our channel. We got a whole bunch of assets out there for you. All right, we'd love to help you out. Take care.